Welcome to DCE Digital Learning. This is Bachelor of Science Mathematics Theory of Equations class and in this class we are going to discuss solution of equations by synthetic division. Recap. Synthetic division by linear expression. If f of x equals a0 x power n plus a1 x power n minus 1 plus a2 x power n minus 2 plus and so on plus a n minus 1 x plus a n and g of x equals x minus alpha then quotient and remainders when f of x is divided by g of x are given by q of x equals a naught x power n minus 1 plus b1 x power n minus 2 plus and so on plus b n minus 2 x plus b n minus 1 and r of x equals b n where coefficients of q of x and r of x are given by synthetic division as shown in this table a0, a1, a2 and so on, an minus 1, an are coefficients of f of x. We will get coefficients of q of x by calculation as shown in this table. And also the remainder bn is got. Recap. Synthetic division by quadratic expression. If f of x equals a0 x power n plus a1 x power n minus 1 plus a2 x power n minus 2 plus and so on plus a n minus 1 x plus a n and g of x equals x square minus alpha x minus beta then quotient and remainders when f of x is divided by j of x are given by q of x equals a naught x power n minus 2 plus b1 x power n minus 3 plus and so on plus b n minus 3 x plus b n minus 2 and r of x equals b n minus 1 x plus b n where coefficients of q of x and r of x are given by synthetic division as shown in this table a0 a1 a2 and so on an minus 1 an are coefficients of f of x alpha and beta are multipliers then we will find out coefficients of q of x and r of x by synthetic division let's move to problems problem 1 express f of x equals x raised to 4 plus 2x cube plus 6x square minus 8x plus 4 as a polynomial in powers of x minus 3. Solution. Here f of x equals x raised to 4 plus 2x cube plus 6x square minus 8x plus 4. Let f of x equals a0 x minus 3 power 4 plus a1 x minus 3 whole cube plus a2 x minus 3 whole square plus a3 x minus 3 plus a4. Then f of x is written as x minus 3 times a0 x minus 3 cube plus a1 x minus 3 square plus a2 x minus 3 plus a3 plus a4. This is in the form x minus 3 into pi 1 of x plus a4. Which implies a4 is the remainder when f of x is divided by x minus 3. Next, pi 1 of x equals x minus 3 times a0 x minus 3 whole square plus a1 x minus 3 plus a2 plus a3 which is equal to x minus 3 times pi 2 of x plus a3 which implies a3 is the remainder when f of x is divided by x minus 3 into x minus 3. Similarly, we see that a2 is the remainder when f of x is divided by x minus 3 whole cube a1 is the remainder when f of x is divided by x minus 3 whole raised to 4 and a0 is the leading coefficient of f of x. Therefore, for forming synthetic division, we have first we draw horizontal and vertical line. Write the coefficients of f of x 1, 2, 6, minus 8, 4. Take the multiplier x equals 3. Keep leading coefficient 1 as it is. Now multiply 1 and 3, 3. Add 2 and 3, 5. Multiply 3 and 5, 15. Add 6 and 15, 21. Multiply 3 and 21, 63. Add minus 8, 63. 55. Multiply 3 and 55, 165, add 4 and 165, 169, 
which is a4. Again divide by x minus 3, multiplier x equals 3. Keep leading coefficient 1 as it is. Multiply 3 into 1, 3, add 5 and 3, 8. Multiply 3 and 8, 24, add 21 and 24, 45. Multiply 3 and 45, 135, add 55 and 135, 190, which is equal to A3. Divide again by x minus 3. So, multiplier x equals 3. Keep leading coefficient 1 as it is. Multiply 1 and 3, 3. Add 8 and 3, 11. Multiply 3 and 11, 33. Add 45 and 33, 78, which is A2. Divide again by x minus 3. So, multiplier x equals 3. Keep leading coefficient 1 as it is. Multiply 3 and 1, 3. Add 11 and 3, 14, which is A1. Finally, divide again by x minus 3. That gives leading coefficient 1 equals A0. Therefore, f of x equals a0 x minus 3 power 4 plus a1 x minus 3 whole cube plus a2 x minus 3 whole square plus a3 into x minus 3 plus a4. Substituting a0, a1, a2, a3 and a4, we get f of x equals x minus 3 power 4 plus 14 x minus 3 whole cube plus 78 x minus 3 whole square plus 190 x minus 3 plus 169. This is the required polynomial. Problem 2. Find quotient and remainder when x power 6 minus x raised to 5 minus x plus 1 is divided by x square minus 1. Solution. Here f of x equals x raised to 6 minus x raised to 5 plus 0 x raised to 4 plus 0 x cube plus 0 x square minus x plus 1 and g of x equals x square minus 1 equals x minus 1 into x plus 1. Since we have to divide f of x by two linear factors, the process of synthetic division is applied twice, one after one. Clearly, the divisor is 0 when x equals 1 minus 1. Performing synthetic division, as shown in this table, we get quotient x raised to 4 minus x cube plus x square minus x plus 1 and remainder minus 2. Problem 3. Find a and b if x minus 3 and x minus 1 divide 2x raised to 4 minus 7x cube plus ax plus b exactly. Solution. Here f of x equals 2x raised to 4 minus 7x cube plus 0x square plus ax plus b. Since x minus 3 and x minus 1 divide f of x exactly, successive remainders in the division of f of x by x minus 3 and x minus 1 must vanish separately. The process of synthetic division is applied twice, one after one. Clearly, the divisor is 0 when x equals 3 and 1. Performing synthetic division, as shown in this table, we have remainder 1 equals 3a plus b minus 27, remainder 2 equals a minus 11. So by data, 3a plus b minus 27 must be equal to 0 and a minus 11 must be equal to 0. Because R1 of x equals 0 and R2 of x equals 0, we get a minus 11 equals 0, which implies a equals 11. And 3a plus b minus 27 equals 0, which implies 33 plus b minus 27 equals 0, which implies b equals minus 6. Therefore, a equals 11 and b equals minus 6 are the required values. Problem 4. Given that 
2 is a root of x cube minus 6x square plus 3x plus 10 equals 0. Find the other roots. Solution. Here f of x equals x cube minus 6x square plus 3x plus 10 equals 0. Since x equals 2 is a root of f of x equals 0, x minus 2 is a factor of f of x. Dividing f of x by x minus 2 using synthetic division, we get the quotient as a quadratic equation which can always be solved. Performing synthetic division as shown in this table, we see that quotient is x square minus 4x minus 5. Therefore, we get x square minus 4x minus 5 equals 0. After factorization, which implies x minus 5 into x plus 1 equals 0. Equating each factor to 0, we get x equals 5 x equals minus 2. Therefore, 5 and minus 2 are the other two roots of given equation. Problem 5. Given that 3 and 2 are roots of x raised to 4 minus 9x cube plus 27x square minus 29x plus 6 equals 0. Find the other roots. Solution. Here, f of x equals x raised to 4 minus 9x cube plus 27x square minus 29x plus 6 equals 0. Since x equals 3 and x equals 2 are roots of f of x equals 0, x minus 3 and x minus 2 are factors of f of x. Dividing f of x by x minus 3 and x minus 2 Using synthetic division, we get the quotient as a quadratic equation which can always be solved. Performing synthetic division as shown in this table, we see that x square minus 4x plus 1 is quotient and remainders are 0. Therefore, given equation tells q of x equals 0 which implies x square minus 4x plus 1 equals 0. Here, factorization is not possible. Using quadratic formula, x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a, we get x equals 2 plus or minus root 3, which implies x equals 2 plus root 3, x equals 2 minus root 3 are other roots of given equation. That's all in this video. Thank you.